Hi there! My name's Cheese, and I'm going to show you how to play Neverball, a free, open source game that I contributed to between 2006 and 2014. Select. The objective of the game is to guide the ball to collect coins and then finish by reaching Ready. the goal before the timer Set. runs out. Go. Ball movement is controlled by tilting the world with mouse, keyboard, or joystick input. Gameplay is centered around exercising ball control to overcome movement problems. Neverball is a game that's easy to learn but hard to master and the community's map creators have created some fiendishly difficult levels. I've observed that many first-time players tend to bounce uncontrollably off the rails of the early levels in the easy set and then skip to some of the harder Ready? sets believing that they have developed the skills Go. that they need. Whilst controlled bouncing off obstacles is an important technique that some later levels require, for these earlier levels, I think that viewing touching the rails as something to be avoided encourages the development of proper ball control and can help alleviate disorientation. The game features three different camera modes, which can be selected using the 1, 2, and 3 keys. Chase and Lazy camera modes will have the camera automatically rotate Ready? to follow the ball as Set. it moves whilst manual Go. mode will only rotate according to user input. Because the world tilts relative to the camera orientation, manually rotating whilst using chase or lazy mode can be useful in executing some turns and for lining up the camera before Set. traversing narrow Go. paths. Neverball levels are grouped into sets. Completing a level will progress you to the next one, which will also be unlocked at the level selection screen. There's also a challenge mode, where players must play through a set from the first level with a limited number of lives. Progressing through challenge mode will also unlock bonus levels for sets that have them, which can be played via normal mode. At the time of recording, we're aiming for a May 2014 release of Neverball 1.6.0, the first release in nearly five years. This new release will feature 24 all-new levels, including one new set, plus refinements to many of the existing levels. We have eight new ball models in this release, six of which were made by me, including an Octocat-themed ball made to celebrate Neverball's move to GitHub last year. The rendering engine has been overhauled and is now OpenGL ES compliant, which we hope will make porting to mobile and embedded platforms easier than it has been in the past. Neverball has now been localized to more than 20 languages, and translation efforts were recently migrated to Transifex. Also new in this release is support for the Oculus Rift head-mounted display via OpenHMD as well as the Oculus SDK, depending upon which implementation was configured at compile time. Right now, I'm making use of OpenHMD, a free and open source library which aims to be device agnostic. With HMD mode enabled, you can now look around freely. The HUD and user interface elements now appear rendered on a flat plane in so 3D right. space between the ball and the camera position. This allows the player to look directly at portions Ready? of the UI, Set. which is definitely Go. helpful for the low resolution dev kit one. Being able to glance around without affecting the tilt orientation <laughs> provides some extra awareness, and being able to look up and down really helps give a sense of depth to levels with a vertical aspect to them. After demonstrating Neverball's HMD support at two public events, I would definitely recommend that players get familiar with the game before trying HMD mode, as Neverball's camera movement can make new players feel disoriented even without a head-mounted display. Neverball often comes bundled with Neverput, a hot seat mini golf game using the same engine. In addition to all of the Neverball engine's improvements, Neverput has gained two new Player courses one. which include some of the first maps with rotational elements. HMD mode in Neverput provides some more flexibility to the game's limited camera controls, Player making two. lining up shots along slopes or around obstacles much easier. More information on Neverball and Neverput can be found at neverball.org and the Neverball community forums can be found at nevercorner.net along with an online leaderboard and replay sharing site called The Never Table. I hope you have enjoyed this brief look at Neverball and have fun rolling! <laughs>